Hey everybody, it's Janice with Creating Through Chaos, and we're going to start this project off with this old shovel. The handle is like half broken, and as you can see, there's kind of like a, um, a split in it, so it wasn't any good anymore. So I am going to start off by painting this all black and cover up some of that rust. I wiped it down first with a wet rag. Once I have it all painted black, I'm going to take a piece of chalk and I'm going to draw out three half circles, and these are going to be snowman heads. And as you can see, I decided I didn't like the way that one came out, so I'm just going to kind of go over again. That's why I use chalk. And then I just used a baby wipe to fix my mistake so I can make sure that, you know, I liked the placement of it. Once I have them all drawn out, I'm going to take white paint and I'm going to fill in all of the snowballs. And I'm just kind of doing the outline and then filling in. I'm going to do the same for the other two. And just kind of follow along the line there on when they where they connect. As you can see, I kind of left a little bit of the black. Not a lot, but mostly covered it. I just want to kind of remember where my lines were. So I don't paint right over them and kind of blend them all together. So as you can see, I left just a tiny, tiny bit of black, just so I know where the beginning and ends of each one are. Then I'm going to take the color Thicket, and I added some white paint to it, so I really made it light. And I'm just going to go around each one of the snowmen, just to make sure that I give that definition, that they're separate. And it's kind of hard to see the color on camera, but you can tell that they're starting to become their own little entities. I'm just go around each one of the top ones, just making sure that I know which one's which and that they have their own definition. And you can use any color you want. Just take another blue and add white to it. You could do it on blue. You could do it with black. I just chose the color Thicket because I'm really liking that color these days. And just kind of go over them. And now they have their own little definition. And it's not too dark or anything like that. Next, I'm going to take a colored pencil, and I just used a white one, and I am going to write out the word snowballs right across the top. And if you happen to mess up, you can use an eraser. And since this is a colored pencil, that helps that you can use an eraser, or you can just start over and paint it all over black again. So once I have it all written out, I'm going to write five cents underneath, so snowballs, five cents. And then I am going to take a really thin brush and some white paint, and I'm going to start filling in all of these letters. Now, I did a little snowflake underneath the exclamation point, so I'm just going to connect all of those. And as you can see, I'm kind of adding a little line to the end of each one of my letters. So go down the L, and then I'm going to put a line at the top and at the bottom of each one of those. And I'm going to continue to do that through all of them. I'm not worried about getting full coverage. They don't have to be perfect. Just kind of taking my brush, dipping it in the paint, and then just going across. And then again, adding my little lines. And this just helps the letters so that if you do mess up, they just don't look so bad and they don't have to be perfect. This is just a fun project. Nothing has to be perfect, especially when you're painting something like this kind of adds to the rustic primitive vibe of it. And then again on the S. And then I make sure I define my little lines. I'm going to do the same thing on the five cents. And I didn't want my um, five to be as long at the top, so I just kind of cut it down. And look how cute this is. I absolutely love it. Next, we're going to work on the faces. So I'm just going to take the back side of a paintbrush, dip it in my black paint, and I'm going to make their eyes. So I just kind of dipped it in and then swirled the brush around just to make them a little bit bigger and make sure that they were even. And then once I had the eyes on, I'm going to take a little bit of pink, and I just mixed red and white paint together to make a pink, and I'm going to give them each some rosy cheeks. Just kind of go around and circle 
over and over again. I did this with a dry brush and not a lot of paint. So once I have the cheeks all rosy, now I can start doing their noses. So I'm just going to take another paintbrush and start painting their noses. And I didn't want them all to be the same. So I'm doing this one facing that way. And then the next one I'm going to do facing the other direction. And I kind of changed up the nose, didn't do it exactly the same. And I always try to outline my nose and then fill it in. Make sure that's all even. And then this one, I'm just going to kind of point in a downward. So not as up as the other ones. And look at, they're so cute. They're coming together. Next, I'm going to take the back side of a paintbrush and I'm going to do the dots for the mouth. Making sure that they're all the same size. And this one, I'm just going to skip over the nose and then put the dots on. And cute so far. Next, I'm going to take a small paintbrush and I'm just going to give them each some eyebrows. So I'm just going to dip it in the black paint. Give them each some cute little eyebrows. I think the eyebrows really help give them character. Then I'm going to take some white paint and put a dot in each one of the eyes. Once I have that all done, I'm going to take a toothbrush and I'm going to dip it in some white paint and then I'm just going to kind of splatter that all over everything. And I even took a little bit of the thicket color and added that and you really couldn't see it so I didn't even bother with that anymore. I just continued with the white. Then I'm going to take the back side of a paintbrush once I finish this splatter and I'm just going to kind of add a dot all up at the top around the words snowballs to kind of look like snowflakes. I'm just going to randomly dot them. There's no rhyme or reason to this. Just kind of wherever you want a dot. I kind of tried to make them different sizes. The harder I pressed on my paintbrush, the bigger they were, the lighter, the smaller the dot was. And look at this is so cute. Next, I just took this piece of greenery that I had. And I'm just going to kind of hold it up onto the handle. And I am going to wrap this piece of homespun that I ripped around it and then tie it in a knot to hold it into place. I didn't use glue because I am going to put this outside. So the glue is just going to pop off anyway. So I figured I would just use the homespun to hold it on. Then I'm going to take another piece of homespun and I'm going to wrap that around. And I'm going to tie that once. And then I'm going to slip this little jingle bell on it. It's like a frosted jingle bell. I got it at a thrift store. And I'm going to pull that through and then I'm just going to tie a knot again, making sure that everything is tight up here to hold that greenery on. And then I'm going to snip off all my little extra pieces and look how cute this is. I absolutely love it. I think it turned out so super cute. I'm going to spray it down with a clear coat, just a spray paint clear coat so that it lasts outside for the winter. I hope you enjoyed this project. Thank you for watching. And as always, don't forget to spread the chaos.